Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here. Welcome to another part of Spyro for Enter the Dragonfly. And today we're going to Monkey Monastery. And uh, joining me today is Johnny Natrium, who is presently taking a piss, and the AFH 013. Uh, uh, uh. That's right. What was that? No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, I'm Alloy. Thank you. Yes, and just just. Oh, saying. that's right. Yeah, okay. I Thank didn't know you. that was actually like a thing. Yeah, I, right. I, I just I hate being called by my old username first. <laughs> Those unbalanced riptarchs have invaded our sacred monastery. Of course, we practice divine compassion, so we really can't get involved in anything violent. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, I apologize. I apologize for that really awkward beginning. <laughs> that sounded really douchey. I'm sorry. That's I just, right. yeah, I, I'd rather. That's all right. Sean is shit. That's all right. Sorry. Like... Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. That's all right. It's okay. It's, yeah, okay. That's yeah, it. Cool. Yeah. But yeah. this is this is Monkey Monastery. So yeah. this is it. This is it. So, um, welcome back. Uh, what's your what mini? Um, what are they called? Mini. Uh, mammoths, I think they are. Yeah, mini, uh, mammoths. Yeah. Mini, mini, mini mammoths, mammoths from uh, yeah. yeah, mini myths from mm -hmm. what's it called? F uh, frozen altars. That's it. They're very that's much like the ones. Yeah. From, I mean, they're not as good, but they're yeah, they're there. Oh god. Oh, that's gruesome. Oh god, the, the thing fell that's too. Very gruesome. Oh, there you go. The you're you're just back. like the guys of Black McCown. Yeah, well, you know what? Fuck them. Disgusting, <laughs> disgusting <laughs> Scottish pigs. They are. Oh, I, I tell you, oh, I don't worry. That's they were probably unionists anyway. They probably, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's, let's be culturally relevant. Come on, all right. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, yeah this level, I, I, I reckon it's probably my favorite start to the the level in Spyro uh, Enter the Dragonfly. Like, it's got this really peaceful kind of thing. And that's that's the whole like theme of the level. It's meant to be all peaceful and yeah. shit. But it's like a great start, actually. Like, it, you start from this, you know, well, this temple type, you know housing structure thing whatever you want to call it and then you glide housing down to structure. here it's not a housing structure welcome johnny and then all of a sudden here we are looking at this really quite it's actually quite a large uh like temple behind it as well so that's all right. I, think, I think it's really cool all right i wish they did more with the all the glass looks like it's chipping you know a bit like in spyro uh, 3 except is that you glass can't or is that ice, ice. I, I, yeah, sorry yeah, ice you... i meant ice um, I meant crystal. Yeah, yeah. I, I was gonna ask if you could head bash through. No, it. no, you can't. That, that, that's a wasted opportunity. They should have uh, had something in there, but they didn't. And then we yeah. got these monkey ape escape esque statues there, which are really awesome. There was a really nice view though when you looked at the uh, looked at the sort of that temple thing. That's what from, I mean. Yeah, the... yeah. Because it, it's got. That, like that this... reminds me of uh, Hitman too, actually. <laughs> when you go to Japan. Oh, awesome. There you go. <laughs> I love it. I love, I love it. it. I love it. Tie in such. Seemingly unrelated game. It's the, I reckon it's the best thing, best thing ever to do that because, like, if we don't know the mm. games, then we're not covering everything you could cover. If you get what I mean, yeah, that's so it's good to have someone yeah. that like knows games that we haven't played, or, or I think I've actually yeah, played a Hitman off. game, but not, yeah, not at that level. But all hopefully right. not Th absolution. This... <laughs> that's the new one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get pick this up. There you go. All right, so this like <laughs> oh, that was sweet. That was so cute. Like, wow, he just you just went like oh, let, let, oh, let's just pick that up. Like oh, like on. like you just went back like just and sort of I don't know. It was like really endearing how you picked that up. It was like you were Spyro <laughs> for a second, and you like just quickly let's turn around. And, oh, let's pick, let's pick that up. up. It? Oh, I speak like uh, <laughs> like de you know Desert Monkey. What <laughs> I should pick this up. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Oh, oh yeah, he's scary. He sounds serial killer yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now Johnny's trying to, like, get the tag of serial killer. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, he's not. If you're watching this desert monkey... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Just... He's not going to be Spyro, I know you've heard that Giddy are scary monsters, but we are peaceful, which is why we live here in this once peaceful realm. The true monsters are the Riptox, and they've taken my coin and imprisoned them in the ice. Can you save the five Yeti with your flame breath? He, he sounds Australian with your flame breath. It's really odd. Um, I actually, I actually really. Oh, for fuck. No, it's okay. I just have a look at yeah. Oh, sorry. No, you could have done. No, it. I already, I already. It's just said the same thing. I was just having a look. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, sorry. you wanted you, to see the voice. Go ahead. 
No, I actually really like the animation on that. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, until it started repeating itself. Yeah, the loops course. always look stupid. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right. Um, it's, yeah, like, that's uh, that's kind of a, a cool thing for me, because it's Bartholomew, but it kind of seems to rewrite history in the sense that it's like, it doesn't really explain why they've moved to the Monkey Monastery. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, it's a bit like, why are you doing that? Um, <laughs> furthermore, uh, like there's the actually this case. whole... What are you doing that for? What the fuck you do that like, for? Like, Carl Pilkington or something. What's he do that for? No, no, it's like, what's up with that? That's it. Oh, yeah, that that, that's um, it. Yeah, but, um... Okay, oh, continue. okay all right, okay. <laughs> I'll continue. Oh, I win. No, I'm joking. Um, yeah, I was mentioning that uh, Bartholomew's accent, from what I could recall from Spiral 3, was kind of... I said kind of cockney-ish, but that's I still right. can't say that. I can't say that with a straight face though, because it's still not like Cockney, Cockney. It's really Cockney like. Sounds uh, pretty Australianish. Well, nah, 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 it's a, a, not not in this case. This this guy, uh, yeah, Inspire Three. It's just a bit like of, Del 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 Boy. Yeah, from, uh, Del Boy. Like that's you know like a real Cockney. But when it comes to Bartholomew, like as I mentioned, it's it's like someone who speaks with C pronunciation trying to do a Cockney accent. Now, ah. This, in this game, you say he sounds Australian, so is it the same voice actor? I, I feel like it is, but at the same time, I feel like it could just be an imitation. And that's why he right, sounds different. I imitation. actually honestly don't know. Um, mm. But, alright, let's... It's good to get... I've, I've bloody, bloody lost my sparks, so I can't... Yep. Uh, there we go. Yeah, what is that? Is there something... Oh, no, here he is. I keep talking when it... Greetings, young dragon. I believe the turret behind you could be a very... Oh, that's right. Yeah, all he says is um, he just says that the turret you can use it and how to use it. I think. Look, he says, yeah. Okay. It's, it's brother Christina Ricci. Yeah, Ricci. I, I knew that. Yeah. I knew that reference. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I got it. Um, okay, there we go. Oh, that's so your kind of woman, Christina Ricci, right there. Yeah. Um, so, Christina Ricci, the 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 uh, re reimagined into a uh, into Spyro. No, it's not. No, it's an actor. You know, that oh, I'm surprised you don't know her, Johnny. Because as I say, I think she'd be your kind of lady. But you know, well, uh, I shall look her up. Uh, okay. I, I, I can't wait to hear. Oh, what the fuck? Ow! <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh! God. She looks so grotty. Um, so do you guys? <laughs> why am I? Why have I got such a, a, a like? Like stupidly posh accent. Oh, I don't know. You're very hard to impersonate. But I continue, Andrew. Um, does anyone notice just how monumental um, these yeah. these whole like right. environments look in comparison to like the other the other spires? Like everything is so There's... spread out. You know what I mean? Yeah, like... absolutely. Like... Sorry, that's fine. Con he, yeah, he doesn't say much. All right, good stuff. Yeah, you're right because. If you think back to like, even Honey Marsh, it's so condensed and just ugh. But then you have this level, it's like fucking like it, it's all. It reminds you of Crystal Glacier as well. That's of course, another. Of course. Or not, yeah, Crystal Glacier. Yeah, that is the one. Yeah, definitely. You can see inspiration from there too. Like various inspiration from past Spyro Ice levels with a bit of you know originality thrown in for good measure. Sorry. Could you yeah. tell me your name again? Uh, Christina Ricci. Here we go. Yeah, yeah shit. No, so you can hear the typing. Oh, here we go. This is a subplot of the episode. Or the no, I see, a, the I episode. see her image on the side, but it's hard to tell yet. She, from from here, she looks like the uh, like the would be empress from. I'll just uh, put a picture Empress up right New now. Roof. Okay. Yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah. Right. Um, and then you can put a. Oh, no, holy shit! Oh, she, looks, <laughs> she looks pretty. Uh, there, there you go. Okay. Oh. But look, look, Al. She looks like the f fucking the, the the villain from. Uh, Referral denied. Fuck you. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it took me a while to realize he was talking about it. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Uh, Look, right. can you see it there? If, what, yeah. Wait, you got, you got a normal dragonfly name. That, that's good for you. Yeah. Now, can you check that out quickly? I know that this is kind of derailing it, but she looks like the, that villain from fucking Emperor's New Groove there, doesn't she? All right, okay. Um, while they do yeah, that... Oh, sorry. No, no, by all means, you can talk about the game. You are more than welcome to. I shall. Um, <laughs> yeah. Alright, okay, let me just... I'm, I'm, I actually, i got to think where to go. Oh, that's right through here. Okay. 
But um, yeah, I have heard the name of that before. Uh, the picture will go up there. Like a like a yeah. respectful, uh, you know, a, a, like a good let's play that I am. I you know make sure to make the audience feel welcome, like so they can know who Christina Ricci is as well. Ricky, Rick, yeah, uh -huh. whatever. Richie, <laughs> Richie, Rich. All right, now Christina did I miss Ricky? Are oh, you Peter? What? <laughs> Richie Rich. Oh, Richie Rich. Yeah, you know the movie. Um, th this thing here, this whole like thing here, right? I remember this very well from like the demo of or, like the the trailer of Spyro uh, 4 when I first saw it and I, f I first saw the Spyro uh, trailer for this game in the year I think 2001 or 2 while at my dad's work former workplace beep just because you know there's no point really mentioning what it was <laughs> And, um, yeah, it's, it's a company that specifies in beepers, no. But, um, yeah, at that particular company, uh, I used to, like, go through everyone's desks and shit and watch, like, game trailers, because that was, like, my first real exposure to the internet, actually. So, uh, yeah, I used to look up game websites and shit. Like, I used to love it. Like, you know, I'd, like, and, oh, in fact, and the Spyro... I used to play the Skittles Badlands music and dance to it, remember? <laughs> oh, I did. I did. Well, I, I, yeah. I'd love... I'd replay the dance. I wouldn't actually dance myself, really. Like, a little... Oh, okay. Here and there, here and there, you know. All oh, right, okay. As, as like, your brother dances dance down to... Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> or whatever it's called. Pijanu. What is she from, uh, if I may ask? Am I just being too... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay, it's just not really saying anything, actually. It's just saying the same thing as the other guy. Um, but yeah, no. Um, <coughs> oh, what were we going to say about that woman? Um, no, just... Well, I, I was going to say about these guys is that... In fact, most of the NPCs in this game kind of lack the... the same? Look the same? Well, yeah, well, that's... You know, it's, wait, how do you mean? Well... They all are like the same kind of dinosaur looking ripped up with just a slightly different armor. That's my big issues. A lot oh, of I, meant, I was talking about the NPCs, sorry, not the enemies. Oh, did sorry. I say so, no, you did oh, say shit, NPCs. I, I, I took that as enemies. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, yeah. Uh, ba back in the bloody uh, um, the farm level, what was that again? Crop Circle Country? Mm -hmm. That's it. Good I memory. already thought that the, um, uh, that the enemies looked a bit bland or something. Yeah, I can. even when I saw them for the first time, and they don't—they didn't really seem to fit into the background. It's like there's a lighting issue or texturing, like difference or yeah, something. Yeah, okay, yeah. Where, no, I, I where they you mean. seem kind of out of place in a weird way, and they and they just looked a bit generic. Like there's not a whole lot of character to them. A bit generico, as they'd say. Sorry. It's, it's like hard to tell. Like Spyro, Blast. like the original Spyro games, the the enemies look like really sort of thematic and really like, I don't know, like, if you took their silhouette, you could recognize them instantly. Yes, and yes, that's, that's, sort a, that's of a, like a good point, Byron. Yeah. They're like a, yeah, a very recognizable and they, they just fit right in. Whereas here, it's like someone made these generic dinosaur enemies and just plonked them in somewhere. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I know, I know, I, I, I actually do know what you mean. Like, there's not enough. There's not enough of a variation in, in the in the kind of I mean, these guys look great. Um, so yeah. that that guy's name's Hobart, yeah, which is the capital city of Tasmania. Of, um, Tasmania, that's right. There you go. There you go. Good good yeah, knowledge I, I, there by I the wanted, lads. Yeah, I wanted to get that in before he was like, "Oh, huh, I'm Irish, but I know that." Herp, herp, good. But no. Good. It's good to <laughs> but, um, know. Yeah, I, as soon as I saw it, I was like, "Oh yeah, I, I know that name." But, and um, what they're yeah, playing on is well, I, well, you can tell. I bet you can tell what they're playing on because of Bentley. You know, her. Uh, oh, they're all smart. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, like that's yeah. the kind of because and they speak with yeah, you know, cheerio. So it's like trying to play on that uh, that cheerio. you know, cheerio. <laughs> uh, you know, my cat died. You know, whatever. <laughs> Yeah. What? Red Devil Dazzy. Nice Dazzy yeah. reference. Oh, right. Red Devil Dazzy, yeah. Oh, well, He's just like a dying well, cancer do. patient. Oh, well, I do. Peach died. <laughs> that's for, for anyone wondering who he is, don't. Um, yeah. yeah. yeah that's, <laughs> shouldn't we just say Sing? that? Yeah, like, for anyone wondering, don't. Um, Unless you're doing, like, a psychology kind of, like, major or something that yeah. you could use here, but... Like usually, usually I'm all opening. I'm all, I'm all, I'm like all like opening up you guys to like a world of, of our references. But I actually just can't be bothered with Dazzy. So there you go. There's yeah. your proof. Red Devil Dazzy 2007. 
Do it yourself. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, be bloody good. Spyro keeps Got bumping right into up. the same stone. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, one yeah, second. Okay. I'm just going to pause it just to see how long this is going for, just to see how much of the level I'll do, because obviously I've got to split this into two, because there's two more uh, whole challenges to go, as well as the original level I challenge. I should actually just... I can finally say why... You... Right. <laughs> you can finally say <laughs> what you want in like yeah. 10 seconds. Alright, let me just quickly yeah. this ladder. Lower. Okay, a special prize. Now you can yeah. finally say your piece. Here we go. Thank God. So that's indicative of my kind of whole point about just the NPCs in this game. They don't have much of a personality. They're just giving you like... That could be any NPC at any level, you know? Yeah, yeah. There's, no, there's nothing to it, they're just very straightforward. Whereas, like, you know, in Spyro 2, Zephyr, this dang cannon ain't working for me. Like, his his dialogue is flavoured to the point that, you know, you know it's a guy God. from Zephyr. Sorry. Yeah, no, I, that's, wow. that's very yeah. much true. Like, the way that they yeah. speak is, is, is a lot more, um, you know, Mutual, they, they I all guess. Have this, it's very neutral. Neutral. So, neutral. Yeah, exactly. Neutral <laughs> English. Whereas you know, other like yeah, uh, and uh, bloody scorch. You have them speaking like you know, children with that um, the problem with the R's and stuff. Oh, yeah. and that's well, that's yeah. one thing. And you have um, what else? Like it fucking the glimmer you have them with their you know, East Coast ish accents, and then you got the Boston accents and Idle Springs. I mean, you got, the, these you know, ones like, they have accents, but they're not as profound uh, as the other ones. Like, they're not as memorable, right. really. That's probably the best Absolutely. way to describe yeah. it. Like, yeah. they're just not. And, and it's also the English too, like the dialogue itself not being, you know, as kind inspired. Of, yeah, exactly. Like, I don't know. It's just, yeah, it just screams of both kind of being rushed and also just. I, don't, I think dialogue is something that, you know, like, maybe they just didn't have, like, a proper, like, dialogue specialist to, you know, write this stuff for them. Well, like because, Jackie. You know, yeah, from, uh, yeah, like Jackie Flyrock, yeah, yeah. The, the legend herself, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. God, that was close. Um, oh, yep. shit. Oh, God, this is oh, that, scary. What? That there's all these little, you... there's all these little, um, what's the word, little ice particles, but you can't see them. They, they, <laughs> it, that practical, like, it practically doesn't work, do you know what I mean? Like, it's... Well, yeah, yeah. Alright, so look, very impressive slide work. I found this dragonfly good enough. Like, I mean, these guys, they do suit the level in the sense that they're like, it's meant to be like a, you know, a monkey temple type thing. But, yeah. But what you're saying is that they're not really as just, they're just generally not as memorable in the way they speak, as especially. Definitely yeah. the way they speak and the way that they kind of. Yeah, yeah you're right. You're, you're all right. But. Other oh, than fine. that, <laughs> this level is really quite, I think it's quite good because it kind of feels like its own thing, even though it is like a, a nice level, like, you know, like from other Spyro games and stuff. I, I feel like it holds its own, actually, in terms of ice levels. Yeah, it does, definitely. I think so as well. Like, although, as I mentioned before, it is definitely inspired by various other ice levels in yeah. the Spyro But I think the thing is, levels. though, is it... It doesn't matter what level they make, and it's always going to have that comparison to another Spyro game, since it is a Spyro game. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know, people are going to be like, yeah. oh, it's like this level, but it's like, yeah, because of course it is, because they did it first. Like, you really, a lot of the time, the developers won't be able to win. Everyone will just reduce it to being, oh, yeah, typical copy of that. Not that I'm saying you're doing that, but in general, a lot of the more stupid, oh, critical people, they're never going to yeah. win. It doesn't matter what they do. You know, they're just yeah. going to say, like, oh, it's just... Yeah, there, there we go. We're on the on the hate train with him. Um, Slagging him again. <laughs> I don't know why. I think that was my favorite part of the last part. Like I barely noticed. Going Someone out. actually brought him up. I think it was Matt. Uh, no, not no. I think it was the hidden valve pointed out. He goes, uh -huh. "Was that Pat Strice back you were talking about in Luau?" Because I talked about the review in Luau Island, uh, and uh, okay. and not not really in that much capacity. But I said I didn't mind right. it. But anyway, there's dancer. Um, What's that song called How's again? It? What? How is it spelled? Oh, is it Dancer? Dancer, or is just it like D-A-N-C-E-R. Like... Yeah. Like, oh, alright, like... I thought you meant uh, like Danza, like Tony Danza. No, that's, I was going to do the song, you know, da 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 Tony Danza, whatever it is. <laughs> you know, is it, was He's it... in the sitcom that I'm watching, so. The uh... original one is Tiny Dancer, isn't it, though? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, you know the song, you know the song, you know. Da, yeah, da, I know da, the song da, I'm talking about. I have no idea yeah. what the original is. <laughs> yeah, all right. I think I think it is Tiny Dancer. I think. I, yeah, but uh, okay. um, 
Yeah, all right. So that that's that leaves that challenge done. That that was actually luckily for me, I didn't go into that blind. Uh, there's not much to say about that other than it's like a, a more difficult version of the original slider. The music is fantastic. Uh, really kind of a, a nice like you know singular theme to it. And in fact, the next challenge, which I haven't played uh, just before I reached, I quickly looked at it before. Um, the, the the yeah the, that the challenge we're about to see. Uh, in the next part is fantastic like the music is fantastic the challenge is pretty you know unmemorable but um the actual yeah the music in it is really great i i'll get, i'll let you look it up on google uh, on youtube i'll look make you look at it, my soundtrack al uh before you you we start the next part just so you know what i mean it's oh, got a right, really good, great good, vibe good. i was about to ask yep all right there we go lovely stuff okay so that's the one over there this is the start of level of course um, can you fly? No, you probably can't make it back to the start there. Alright, so what we have to do, in the next part, we're going to have to get do that challenge, get a few more of the, um, uh, actually, I might just, I'll talk to this guy first, get, I think, I don't think, actually, no, we won't get a dragonfly, I think, until we rescue all of the thing. unless I'm wrong, here we go, let's just see. Okay. Hello, Spyro. I made this rocket for a fireworks display, but I can't seem to light it. Please tell me, can you? Oh, okay. Oh, it's just about, like, lighting the fuse. And actually, we'll do that because it... Look, unfortunately, it becomes a cutscene. You don't actually... You can't move while you do it. So it's actually basically like a... An, I don't know, like... I'm trying to think of a coding way to describe it, but it's like a, a graphic that they just, like... They stick you to it instead of the, being able to, like, adjust the camera and shit like that while yeah, you do yeah, it. Yeah, I don't yeah, know how to explain it, but mean. it's like, it's like restrictive, restricted, sorry. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It, unlike, you know, before where if you like set off a rocket, you can still move about whilst it, you know, goes over to its destination. Exactly, that exactly. It, it yeah. would have something to do with uh, the processing and I don't know. Yeah, I was also what I was thinking again about the whole NPC thing. And like another thing that is like littered throughout, I'm going to again use Spyro 2 as an example, like, in Idle Springs, they make reference, like, the guys talks about, like, oh, you know, toolbox and stuff like that, like, you know, uh, their craft, you know, their builders or mm -hmm. whatever. And then in, in Skinner's Badlands, you know, the guy saying, oh, I wanted to use this orb as a nightlight, like, you know, yeah. caveman kind of, like, you know, being fascinated by calling the orb shiny things. Like, it all fits in with their personality, you know? Again, it's something that and, just and, lacks And see, here. and see, that, we'll probably, we'll keep talking about this in the next part, but mm -hmm. that's something that... Well, unfortunately, that they put paint themselves into a corner because you are just rescuing dragonflies with names. That's that's yeah. all. There, there's no egg reference there. It's kind of like you know that they're you know for a fact that they're dragonflies. They're not going to get stuck in a vent yeah. or stuck in a pipe or something like that. Like in yeah, the same right. way that yeah. you can say that that happens in Spyro two and three. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like when right. it comes out yeah. of the thing in in Cloud Spires, but it goes, pff, pff, and then mm. it you know explodes or whatever, and you know. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. It's not going to be like that. So unfortunately, that they they're a bit unlucky that you know orbs and eggs were already taken. You know, so in, yeah, unfortunately, in a, in a way yeah. they can't be as creative. That's right. Yeah. Well, in, in other ways they could be because you can you have the one where you freeze the little dragon and you jump on it to get the kite or whatever. Like you know, that's kind of. Cool. I didn't so, mind that. I didn't yeah. mind that at all. Yeah, like it's well. Then again, that's nothing to do with dragonflies. So. No, it isn't. It's it's <laughs> yes. It's the yeah. own intricacy of the the yeah. level, I guess. But all right. Yeah, exactly. We'll end it right here on a really, really dramatic ending. I mean, like Jesus. Oh, yeah. I mean, Lit no, literal but, cliffhanger. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's <laughs> let's try and hang. No, actually, that's that's not because then I will die. So. We don't want that to happen. Right. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Actually, does it do the thing like it does in Spyro? Yeah, I think it does. Yeah. You see that thing where you like where you stand like that when you're near the edge? You know how he does that? Uh, you know, yeah, that's exactly yeah, he like the down, other one. Yeah. That's fantastic. That's cool. at, at least they've got that. Yep. But all right, yep, thank as you. As some pterodactyls fly by. I, yeah, they're good pterodactyls right there. Yeah. Pterodactyls. Pteros. Filthy pterodactyls. Um, all right, Bear thank you for watching. And yep. Alberto Del Rio was screwed. Goodbye.